Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are the Windsors, you have lost your mother-loving minds. But baby, that's what the Windsors do. Y'all, remember we said a couple weeks ago that they are trying to ice out Harry and Meghan? And by they, I mean me. This is my theory, right? They are trying to literally ice out Harry and Meghan because they want to cut them off the, the history books. But in that icing out, they want to make sure not one person in the royal family ever talks to Harry and Meghan. Y'all remember that? It looks like we have confirmation that it is happening. You guys, the palace is concerned that Princess Eugene is telling royal secrets to the Sussex. What's more, right? Because we're going to go into detail. It looks like what they're trying to do is the reason why Andrew, people are saying, was able to stay in the royal lodge is because you know how they want to put strings on everything. Basically, they're trying to put Eugene in a point of, oh my God, don't you want to be a working royal? We want you to be a working royal. Come work for us. You're so royal. We love what, and bring your husband too, Jack. Doesn't he want to sit here on the balcony with the king? Now that might work for Beatrice because you know Beatrice. I think her Italian husband married her because he wanted to be closer to the royal family. But Eugene seems like she's been over it. But not only that, it seems like they're saying, also, your dad in the Royal Lodge, you want him to stay there, right? It's almost like saying if Eugene does not fall in line and completely cut Harry out, and once they cut Harry out, they can push him out the history books. But, right, your dad's living situation and your mom's is also predicated on that. But don't worry, Harry's looking at them being like, baby, we could care less, because guess what? Don't offer me, a, a, do not offer me a place in Windsor Castle. Do not offer me a place in Kensington Palace. Do not offer me even a room to Airbnb. All the, no, 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 no. You know what? You forgot I got money and you forgot we have private security. We're going to buy a private property. We're going to buy a private property. And the private property, I'm thinking it's going to be a condominium with security and stuff. That's just an F you to Charles. But let's listen to this ridiculousness with the royals. Because this is the part where I was like, and I said they were going to try to do this. I will say one thing. Charles is so blatant in the things he does. The only thing is Charles slow walks it. So you see his plan, but he puts in a little place here, a little place there. A little place there until he can strike. Listen to this, but this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Again, the palace is concerned that Princess Eugene is telling royal secrets to the Sussex. Y'all, I've never heard of a dumber thing in my life. Let's be real. How the hell is Princess Eugene that Charles can't stand, that hasn't been a working royal in however, that doesn't come around since the queen passed away. And even when the queen was arrived, she only wanted to go see her Mima. She didn't mess with everybody else. How is she selling royal secrets to Harry or telling him royal secrets? Harry grew up with Charles. Harry grew up with that mofo. He grew up with the bald one too. Harry spent more time with Will and Kate. Well, I'm sorry, Harry spent more time with Kate than probably even William. <laughs> Let's be real. Harry ran interference when William was out with his WikiLeaks all over town trying to get a woman to take him while Kate was looking like in the in the party. Where is he? Where is he? Harry was running interference like, Kate, come over this way. Oh, no, no. Will's tending to gardenias and rose bushes. You know what I'm saying? Harry grew up and saw his dad emotionally abuse his mom. He saw his mom cry so hard her heart broke. He saw the inside of what happened at the funeral. He saw his grandmother's heartless response. He saw the inner workings of what happened with Camilla. Harry says he has two or three books full of information that's dirt he can spill. What in the world? This is how nonsensical it is. And of course, I'm sure the royalists will eat it up. What in the world is he going to tell Eugene? about his family that he grew up with. Harry knows where the bodies were buried. Harry might have even grabbed the shovel and ha helped bury some bodies back in the day. What is it? What is Eugene going to tell him? You're concerned that Eugene is telling royal secrets? This was a thinly veiled warning to Eugene. This is just my point. Listen to this. 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could have a new royal feud on the horizon as the king and the palace worry that the couple could find out amid their ongoing close bonds to some of their relatives. So now that it's not enough that Harry's cut you guys off. Again, this has always been Charles's plan. When Meghan said they told her, your kids are not going to have titles, the rules are going to be changed. He meant that. But like with everything with Charles, he's very slow and very methodical. The first thing is to make sure nobody in the royal family ever has any contact. It's not going to be hard because he streamlined it down to like six people, right? The, the one with no personality, waiting for a personality, Katie. Baltimore, the one with no hair, no hair and no personality, Ugh. right? The one that's like faces like Camilla, the, the curdled cheese, cottage cheese. The mistress turned queen, right? And Charles, he could care less, right? Because at the end of the day, he is just like, he only wants his power. So what's going on, right? Who else is there? Sophie, Zara, her little oafish boyfriend or husband, Mike. There's no, so they don't talk to him. The only person that talks to them is Eugene. Eugene is super close to Harry. Eugene has gone on vacation in California, riding bikes, having a ball. Eugene and Harry are super, super tight. So it makes you wonder, right? Once he cuts, makes Eugene cut off contact. And I do think that they will hold over. I think Andrew was allowed to stay in the Royal Lodge because he told them, I'll talk to Eugene, it's cool, right? Once they cut that out, they can completely annex them out of the history books. Don't act like they didn't do it. The queen, for as much as people like to be like, oh, yeah, and act like she was this sweet old lady. The queen took her own blood relatives, her cousins she had grown up with that were special needs and mentally disabled in certain ways or maybe had mental issues, moved them into a tattered nursing home, not even one that you would think royalty, if that means anything, would be in. Moved them into a nursing home. Then... Who knows what she did? Who knows what she did? Mm. You would be correct. She literally then wrote them out of all the history books. Said that they died. They literally died 30, 40 years after she wrote in all of the royal. This is what they do. This is what they do. They have to seem perfect. They want to annex Harry completely out of history. That is where they are going. Even the way William is literally like, where's my mother's ring? I haven't seen it in a while. William, you don't own that ring. Harry does. And he gave it to Megan. If you don't get out of here, I'm sure he's looking for a way to get that money back. That ring back. Anyway, according to an insider, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have remained very close to Princess Eugene and Princess Beatrice. Princess Beatrice shouldn't even be um, included in this because you know plenty of... Her, she needs to keep her Italian husband. She is all about the royalty. She loves the events. She is begging to be a working royal. Princess Eugene with Top Boy season five talking about say less, right? Beatrice in it, say less. Man's and mad. I cut him off, right? Anyway, that was my British Top Boy accent. Um, they're saying that, uh, which has left the royal family worried about what palace information the Montecito-based duo could end up hearing. They end up hearing, Harry knows all of y'all business. All of it. Every affair, every racist comment, every bag full of money. He knows for the bot. What, 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 like, what would we just tell him? Anyway, they've got so much in common, the kids, right? Oh, I'm sorry. The Duke and Duchess are said to have caught up with Eugene and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, recently, but reports even claiming they all jetted off to Portugal together where they had a wonderful time. It was also revealed that Harry and Meghan are even planning on hosting Eugene and Jack in California over the holiday season. They've got so much in common, the kids, the shared interests of philanthropy. And Harry enjoys offering advice to his cousin about how to further his career, her career. While Megan's great with parenting, lifestyle, and nutrition. But this bond is said to be causing a stir inside the palace, with them supposedly worried that the friendship could lead to a new royal feud. Speaking to the outlet, an insider said, For the king, Camilla, and the whales, it's rather unfortunate that Eugene and Beatrice are so close to the Sussexes. 
An insider added that these fears are cropping up because Beatrice and Eugene are still privy to a lot of what's happening inside the palace. So there's a concern about what they're telling them and what they could reveal unintentionally. They're literally trying to threaten. They're literally trying to threaten the stick and the carrot Eugene to cut off Harry. And that was the stick. Here's the carrot. Um, they want to, they're considering making Lady Eloise, right? And Beatrice and Eugene working royals again. <laughs> they said the royals family has been holding emergency meetings over potentially calling up Princess Eugene and Princess Beatrice as working royals. This is the carrot. King, the king has slimmed down the royal family during his 12 months as monarch. Okay, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Kate, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, are working members of the royal family that, the, that King Charles has been calling up to carry out engagements. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay. 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 Where's the Duke of Edinburgh? Is he going to work? Oh, wait. No, Sophie's a Duchess. Sorry, I read that wrong. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Andrew, were former senior members of the royal family, no, no longer performing duties with the firm. There's now a shortage of royals to attend engagements, and this has led to criticism of the monarchy. The Duke of, the Duke of York's daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene, are currently not working members of the royal family. But, according to a source, the possibility is being considered. Emergency meetings have been held to come up with a solution to fulfill the growing number of royal engagements, both here in the UK and abroad. There needs to be some younger blood to reach the younger generation. And the only candidates available are Beatrice and Eugene. Let me tell y'all something. Beatrice is going to do it. Because she's not, I mean, she's close to Harry, but please, she's worried about her man. However, when it comes to Eugene, I don't know. Unless they hold Andrew's home over her head, I don't see her rolling over because she's been out of the royal family to begin with. And also, after you saw the way they treated Harry and Meghan, why would you ever trust them? So once you completely burn bridges of Harry and Meghan, they give you, what, two engagements a year? At the end of the day, I still hold from my original philosophy. Camilla's children are going to be made named members of the working royals. They're going to get positions. They're going to do things. They are younger. They are more vibrant. Camilla thinks of the future. She is the perfect. She is the perfect. She is the future queen. Again, I, you know how Charles likes to set up a maybe and an and. So Beatrice maybe might cut off Harry and Meghan. And if she doesn't, he has Camilla's kids. And he can bring her whole bloodline in. And you know Camilla is just sitting there eating her apples, chomping at the bit to get that done. Y'all listen, let me know what you think of the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. I don't know if this is going to work, but I do think it's pathetic. And you know what? I wonder if Harry regrets giving his family so much grace because at the end of the day, they are who they told us they were time and time and time again. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.